This is kind of crazy what happened. A mod orders their own clothes to the Twitch streamer house without her permission. So let, let, let me let me put here some context. Kari, she's a Portuguese streamer. And uh, from my understanding, from what I saw on the stream, she gave like her address to this mod that is being with her for the... For, for a lot of time, okay? It's been one of the, the main mods forever. And not only, like, is she is her biggest support, like, financial support of the stream, like, donates a lot of gift subs, a lot of donations, all these things, but also, he spends a lot of, lot of time on it. And this created a, a situation that, you know, you start trusting more the mod, but then, you know, like, mods tend to sometimes get, like, a bit, you know, con you know, obsessive about like the streamer or or the stream itself. So one time, from my understanding, she asked this mod to send her something from Norway or Denmark or something because over there it is more it is cheaper to send to Portugal than buying directly in Portugal. This will this could have also have happened to me because back then. I was planning to buy like a new mic in a, a new sound system. And I was speaking like with Termite, one of my mods back then. And if I had bought the mic from him and he will send it to my home, right? To my address, I would have saved like 200 euros or 300 euros, which is a big deal. You know, it is a big deal. The downside is like, probably you will have to have my, my address, right? To send to my home. And this is what happened. She gave to this mod her own address, you know, for him to send whatever she asked him to send. Okay. How is your mouse, by the way? It is good. So I was also like, um, it, this, I, I'm completely, you know, emp empathetic to this uh, situation because there are also a few people that I really like and I really enjoy, you know, like super, you, you are one of them. And it's like, you build this trust and, uh, you know, it, like you are probably one of the, maybe the, the only person that knows my address, you know, because literally I fucking leaked it in one of my, the first or the second stream or something like that, uh, opening Amazon. And, uh, there was like my, my address over there. That was kind of cringe though. But, uh, since then, I, I don't think I ever opened Amazon ever again. I, I think I got literally traumatized, uh, after it. But anyways, this happens, you know, you build a trust, but I feel like it is a, a slight different synergy whenever it comes to the dynamic between like two dudes and a mod that obviously, or it feels like it's simping so hard for a, a female streamer, you know? So I don't know. It kind of feels like a bit risky from, from the way I see to give, you know, your address to a mod that like goes way and beyond but you know it goes both ways so let's let's watch either the clip because to give some context because this was kind of creepy chat you know because if someone sends uh, me something as like as a as a you know a thank you or to support the stream or something like that okay that's fine but imagine you chat you know your ad you know my address and you ask and you use my address to give, to send yourself a sweater to my house. So later on, you can come here and pick it up. That's weird, man. I bought Woody to Kari's address because Tonori was one of your... Oh, so this is for you? <laughs> Wait, Gravely, why would you do that? What the hell? Okay, so here, you know, like, these seconds is, like, I'm still in my streamer personality, you know? So I said, why do you do that? And then here, these next seconds is when reality hits the fence, you know? You want to see her, like, okay, what just happened? Like, you can see on her face, like, she's like, what the hell? Okay, that is weird. That is weird. Look, look at here, chat. Uh, can you guys hear, uh, like, the insanity here? 
So, look at here. The guy sent the sweater to her for himself to save money. Because if he saves money, he can gift more subs to her. We all know that's bullshit, right? Like, the, literally, this is the oldest trick on the on the planet, right? You you go to someone else's house, you, you leave your sweater, or you leave something of a personal being, uh, then you, oh, you know what? I forgot my glasses over there, my sunglasses. Can I go and uh, pick it up from your home? Like, this is clearly what is happening. So she definitely started freaking out. That is some stalker mode type of thing. Don't do that, please. Yeah, chat. Uh, I feel like, you know, like what what do you guys will do in this situation? I I don't even know because like he, he is, I don't even know, man. Like the logical thing is probably like you're gonna unmod him and ban him because he's like going a bit extra. But uh, I I don't know what what he'll do because then if someone knows your your address. And knows where you live, and they they start getting like a an obsessive compulsive personality, you know, like the parasocial is going like too wild. And what what if the guy then later on appears on on her on her house? I, I didn't I don't even know how I would react to this. So like definitely this situation. I I hope Kari stays well. Like I know like she um uh, she she was feeling you know. Very weird out after this. I think like she almost crying because like it was a bit out, out of nowhere. But uh, you know, I I'm sure that she's gonna be good.